Sparex has a comprehensive range of hydraulic parts. Within that range are monoblock and slice valves. The um, purpose of today's demonstration is converting standard monoblock um, spring return into a detent system. Uh, first thing we need a uh, monoblock valve and detent system here. Uh, tools for the job to convert from the system are circuit pliers, former Allen key, and a flathead screwdriver. Now, simply place the monoblock on its end and remove the four cathode screws, revealing the spring return underneath. Once you've gained access to the spring return, once again, four Milan key is always required to remove the spring. Now, from this state, go to the components of your detent kit, you'll find a new spring system, slightly longer. That's the first part to be installed. Next part for installation is the exterior casing, um, ensuring that the cutout section is to the exo exterior, allowing access to the additional ports. Within the kit, you will find four new, four new cathead screws. Um, these are obviously shorter because of the difference in the system. Uh, apply a gentle bit of pressure to the end casing, catching a couple of threads initially and do the same to the opposite side. Uh, a little bit more pressure, this will allow you to quickly run the caplets down into a seating position. Try to ensure that even pressure is applied to this so as not to stress the aluminium casting. And then before you lift them up into place, put in the additional two cap heads. And tighten up on opposite sides. And from this stage, the standard detent system, and drop it straight down to the centre, applying a little bit of pressure so it's located. Then, the flathead screwdriver, locate into the end of the slice valve. The next part for installation. Standard spacer, which just drops into place like that. And almost there, metal end cap, and then the circuit to keep it into place. Ensuring the circuit snapped into place, and that was it. One monoblock converted from standard spring return into detent system.